Well, well, looks like the Pokemon community has gotten itself into quite the bit of drama here. Um, it's been like a week now or so. Um, let me readjust the camera. It's been about a week now or so. Um, and Fahim Sheik or Fahim Sheik. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it any other way because I know I can't. So sorry about that in advance has managed to scam this community so bad after calling Unlisted Leaf a scammer, um, which, that's an, that's a story for the other video I made. Go check that out if you want to know my opinions on his whole StockX break. Um, so, after leading the charge, essentially calling this guy a massive scam artist and saying that, you know, I... It's fucked up what he's doing. This guy went ahead and did his own little scam. Um, for every subs massive subscriber goal, this guy promised $1,000 cash to each person. Each person for each increment of 1000 I believe it was. So, uh, I think at the time, it was 10 people would win $1,000, which... A little wacky for a growing... Pokemon card channel, like, just throw away tons of money like that. I can understand if mo most, like, huge YouTubers that are making well above that a month don't even give away $10,000. It's crazy. But this guy basically took it upon himself to fucking lie to the community, uh, say he was gonna do all this big stuff. It's been approximately, like, I want to say four or five days since one of these other uh, Pokemon accounts called him out. Oh, there's the dog in the background. She's coming in. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been a couple days now. Four days since he's last made a video at the record time of the recording of this video. It's been about four days. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hold on. Let me help the dog get up here. All right, I'm back. So... Uh, yeah, back back on uh, thought track. $10,000, most big YouTubers don't even give away $10,000, ones that make tons more than that a month. So why would this guy magically have all this money to give away? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I think it was the Hillman show, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm 100% sure on that one I am, released uh, two videos so far showing a lot of evidence that this guy was lying, showing he's making bot accounts that are commenting on these videos, and he's choosing bot accounts as the winner. And, sorry, I got the dog right here in the corner. Um, and basically, he's trying to draw people into his channel through a lie, which sucks. Actually, that's a big reason I'm so afraid of doing uh, giveaways, because a lot of people, I feel like there's just like this bad stigma attached to it now because a lot of the times giveaways are scams they'll say they're giving away i see a lot of channels on both here and tiktok and i won't name any of them for you know privacy reasons giving away a chase card every week you know all uh, once we hit ten thousand subscribers twenty thousand thirty thousand subs i'll give you uh, fucking alt art Rayquaza, and then next week when we hit forty thousand, after that I'll give away another one. And it's like I can't even imagine doing that, having to pay as many bills as I do. So that shit has to be a fucking scam, unless these people are genuinely loaded with money and just don't care. But anyway, uh, this guy, I think it's safe to say at this point he did scam. I mean, he, again, he hasn't made a hasn't made a reaction video yet, he hasn't made a statement yet, uh, except on his Discord where he claimed that it was just coincidence, that it was bot, I happened to just be a bot account that he picked on accident, but again, we'll see within the coming days, hopefully he will either fess up and admit he's scamming everyone, or he'll just slip away silently and everyone will forget he ever existed, uh, that's really all I have to say about him, uh, kind of a loser if you ask me uh, we don't need people like this in the pokemon community and that's all